All right, Cliff, I want to really bring your attention to the fact that we have reports one, two, and three coming up that revise versions. And if I scroll down here to the schedule, you'll see that I noted that here in these deadlines. So we've got rough drafts. I'm going to be returning those hopefully tonight, this being Wednesday. Thursday evening, you're going to need to turn in group work, and I'm going to go open the Moodle uh, submission location for that. Only need one person. And of course, final drafts will be due Tuesday, November 28th by 11.59 p.m. So that's when we come back from Thanksgiving. And revised versions of reports 1 through 3 are due November 30th. Okay, now to help you guys out, what I wanted to do, sort of give you an idea. So I'm going to go click on report 1. And I've done this for report 1, 2, and 3. If I scroll down, right about the time you find the MS report, you'll see that there, each, there was a report 1 example. If I open this up, what I have here is an example of what your report 1 should look like. Just an example. You see here it's typed up information. Okay. Let's go to report 2. So I'll scroll back up here, go to assignments. And I've got this for basically all of them. So if I go down here, report 2, you'll see I have this. There's the thesis question. There's the thesis statement. And then here's an example of the work cited entry and then a summary analysis roughly the same length, okay? And then let's go to report 3. Not only do I have a video, but I went ahead and pulled up an example of that as well. So you can see that here too. Okay, not perfect. Ideally, there's maybe one more source, but just to give you a visual reference point. And finally, the last one, and I'll be if you're coming to see me tomorrow in conferences, we'll, I will direct you to this. But if not, if you're not going to see me in conferences, I want to point this out to you as well. All right, so you'll see down here, underneath the information inside the research paper selection, there is a research paper sample, okay? Now what I have here is an example of someone who turned in a research paper, okay? This would be something I would like to recommend that you go take a look at, look through. Now it's not perfect, but it should give you an idea of the kind of things that I would be looking for you guys to come up with. This one was done in particularly on Watchmen. You'll notice the citation of material, pretty good framework of information, Okay, fairly regular and consistent citation, bringing in outside sources. I scroll down here, and then he gets into this idea here. That here's the counter argument. Uh, critics such as Grant Morrison. Okay, and then the, you know there's the challenging. I believe this runs about eight pages roughly. And then if you get down here, this is an actual a good example for you to see of an MLA formatted uh, citation. Work cited entry. So you'll see here the entries, they're in alphabetical order. Now, ideally, they would have probably liked to have a few more sources, but these are regularly put in the proper alphabetical order in roughly an eighth edition MLA formatting. Okay? So I want to bring that to your attention, let you see where this stuff is there. You can find each one of these individually under the assignments link under report one, two, three, and the research paper. If you scroll down to the bottom of each of these, there should be some sort of example or sample that I have labeled for you guys to make use of to sort of look at and get a reflective idea of the kind of things I'm looking for you guys to submit to me.